I think I, I think number one, I thought he made a lot of improvement the other night. I don't think he was back to where he was. I mean, he, you know, he was playing a lot more confidently, and we all get our confidence rocked once in a while. And uh, but his communication skills is probably the hardest area. You know, he's going to have because um, it just. It's not a natural thing, you know. It's natural for him to work on his shooting. If you're not a great shooter, you can get better at it. It's, it's not natural. And, um, but I think he understands. I had a great. I spent some time with him Friday night, and a lot of time with him Friday night. And and we just talked about all those things and how it's going to help him in life, and you know what he's going to do in a job. And I mean, if he was a reporter. He wouldn't ask questions if he doesn't, if he's afraid to hear his own voice, you know. And uh, so it doesn't matter what you are; it, it's it's essential. And um, but as I say to you, it's getting worse too for a lot of players because you know we can't uh, can't talk it. We gotta hide behind a computer to say it. And uh, and I think that causes some of that. So that's my. I had to get one social media nail in there each each week, and that was it for this week. But uh, you know, Keith felt good after the game because I think he realized that he it was okay too to talk about not playing good. You know, that frustrated me because I couldn't tell whether he understood that he wasn't, and um, and that was part of the thing Friday night. You know, we had to sit down and talk about it's okay. You know. I admit when I'm wrong. I, I I cry. I do all the things. You know. Sometimes I think we put kids on such a pedestal they they become unhuman, and um, and and part of the process of anything and getting better in anything is first you got to admit you know what I'm not I'm not doing it as well as I should, and then what can I do about it, and that's where um, I think Keith went Friday and Saturday, and so I think is he playing as good as he was? No. Is he taking a couple giant steps just on, you know, passing up a few shots maybe that weren't as good as shots and pulling up in the lane twice instead of charging and defending and making that a priority again? Um, you know, we get back to pushing the ball and he's working harder on his shooting. He'll get back to shooting the ball well. I got, I got a lot of faith in Keith because he is my probably my hardest day-to-day -day worker. I thought he was in about a four game one where he he started doing things that were so unlike him, you know. I thought forcing some shots was so unlike him. I'm mean, a year and a half. I haven't seen that one time and and um never did I think it was a selfish thing. I I just think he maybe was putting a little too much pressure on. Dede goes out in that game, maybe that had something to do with it. And uh I didn't think he was fighting it. I didn't think he was accepting it. You know, or understanding it. It was kind of the in between, and and so I did. I just, you know, he came in and shot that night. I happened to still be here, and we just sat down for a good hour or more, and and just talked about all those things that, uh, you know, and I, what I really tried to tell him is, it's okay to say you're struggling. It's not a test of your manhood. Sometimes it's a test of your manhood that you can't admit it, and. Uh, it's no big deal, you know. You've averaged 18 points a game for a big part of the season. 16 points, you know. You're playing really well, and you. And here's why I think you're not doing as well. And so, you know, a little bit of film, a little bit of this, and but this was one of those times. It was more talking about things like communication, things like <clears throat> not trying to do too much, not bucking the system, and and I just thought. You know, like somebody said, you know, he looked like he had more of a smile on his face even at the beginning of the game because I think he had a comfort level within that uh, I don't have to put the whole world on my back, you know. A day will come, but it's not right now, and everything was good, so.